We really are spoilt on this allotment plot, you know. A huge pile of manure. Look at all these wood chips. Couldn't get rid of the trump hair, so it's gonna have to stay here for a few days. Not one for trying though. I did go down to the hairdressers, but I don't know, maybe I just sound like an old man, but I can't stand waiting to get my hair cut. It's really annoying. Just one of them things that niggles me, so I saw the queue of people sitting down, I just knocked it on the head, if you pardon the pun. Heading down to the allotment plot today, and I nipped off the tops of my runner beans here so they wouldn't kind of go over and just start making a mess at the top look what we've got here variety of runner bean is the enorma i grew these last year and oh so the last kind of 48 hours has been a bit of a head cluster for me you know you have those times with your allotment plot where you kind of just can't stop thinking about it you can't stop thinking about the best way to do things or what to do or... and of course since this flooding and the whole raised bed scenario has come up i feel like i need to come down here just kind of do nothing more but just i don't know just stare at it for about half an hour or something just to see if i can get any fresh ideas do you ever do that just come down to the plot for no real reason but just to stand and gawp at it checking the polytunnel today and <laughs> some of these tomatoes god blimey they look beautiful no splitting decided to calm down my watering regime with these tomatoes. God, please see how many tomatoes are coming on. Well, they're, they're all green, they're not turning red, so still got to wait a little bit, but lots and lots of insects in this polytunnel. Lots of them. I don't think they're doing any harm, but they just all keep... They're kind of congregating all at the back. Oh, and I don't know what that is. That there, I don't know if you can see that. that that's big. I don't like the look of that. Huge picking of cucumbers the other day. I got about six out of it. Look. It's growing up nicely, aren't they? And they've got another one there. They look really tropical. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are called called crystal lemon i'll have to double check very good actually this tomato plant here is doing really nicely look in the greenhouse and yeah these these are drooping quite a lot i have got loads of these on this one's supposed to be yellow but it's green and i don't know because i've not grown anything like this before. I don't know how long it takes before they actually turn to the colour that they're meant to be. Definitely need a good watering, so it's a job we need to get done today. And these are, these are growing up nicely. And these aubergine plants, which I, <laughs> they do look nice, but no aubergines. I've done no research whatsoever on aubergine, so I don't really know what I'm expecting. They're flowering and then, well, that, it's just come off. Um, but that's going to come off as well. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Does anybody else grow aubergines? Let me know what to expect this time of year. They look really healthy plants, but I don't know. I presume the flower turns to an aubergine. Yeah. Not really that much happening, maybe they take a long time to do. Yeah, right, let's get ourselves in position for this um, standing and pondering session. And a good idea when you're doing this pondering is to sort of point at stuff as well. That often helps. Looks a bit quirky, doesn't it, on the allotment plot? Now it suddenly started flowering. It genuinely looks quite good. They're nice, aren't they? My next door neighbour's plot. 
I'm surprised as well, you know. It's Saturday afternoon and I'm surprised that there isn't any more people down here. Like, of the whole allotment, allotment, <laughs> allotment, out of the whole allotment, there's only, there's one other person down there and there's, what, 50 allotment plots? There we go, look at that. Got a small little amount of runner beans. Pretty pleased with those, actually. Oh, and I thought I'd just come down here to have a ponder and a wander. And look at these. It's enough for, it's enough for one meal. Me and Sarah, maybe the kids. That's why we do it, honey. It's great, isn't it? You know, beans are weird, aren't they? I think when you pick them, the other ones just automatically come on. You know, I don't think they actually grow. I think they just reappear. Because there's no way I could have missed that when I walked around there the first time. And that's when the allotment kind of turns you on. Well, <laughs> sure it sort of turns you on, but it turns you around, doesn't it? It turns you around your mood, you know. Not my mood's not down, it's just I'm in this sort of... The cogs are turning and I know I've got some stuff I've got to do. I kind of like it like that. Because when it's not like that, I get itchy feet that I need to sort of do something new. So this whole new raised bed thing is... Uh, man, it's got its use, it's going, in it? Well, please it actually. The old runner bean scenario there. Hi right, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.